May 9th, 2009. I've just recently seen the Star Trek movie, and now I'm here to review it for you, those people who are willing to listen to my story. Alright guys, like I just said, saw Star Trek, and I figured I'd give you the Average Joe review of it really quick. Pretty much at this point, I just want to say, first off, I'm not really a Star Trek expert. I've seen some of the episodes, and I know some of the stuff. I know, like, the major characters, like Kirk and Spock, and the Enterprise itself, the ship. Anyways, just want to say, this is a good movie for those people who have, who know a lot about Star Trek, know a little about Star Trek, or just saw the word star, and were like, ooh, I'm interested. <coughs> I mean, seriously, it is a good movie. He's definitely somewhere blockbuster level worthy of seeing. Anyways, pretty much the story is a Romulan named Nero has a really badass ship and he's got a crew and they're just going around doing the evil thing. Destroying planets, killing people, etc, etc. And it is up to the Federation, an alliance of different alien species, to try and kick his ass. But they got a pretty hard job of it because he's... He's pretty badass, I gotta say. Okay, pretty much. There's that part of it out of the way. That's the whole plot. How they carry on the plot, it's it's pretty good. I mean, seriously, it starts off with an interesting little thing. An interesting little battle with Nero. You get an idea of, holy crap, he's really that damn good. And then, you know, it just goes forward with the story. But pretty much what the main focus is, the, the crew, you know, the crew of the Enterprise. Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Scotty, and all the other people, because I don't really know who the heck they were, because I never really watched the show that much, okay? But it's good, sh but it's good. I liked it. And I would definitely say, if you get the chance, go see it. Um, as for casting, I gotta say they had some pretty cool people on there. Can't remember the name of the dude who played Kirk, but he was good, I liked him. He was really interesting, you know, he pulled off the cocky, oh, hey, I'm an awesome bastard, man. And then I liked Spock. Now, for those of you who don't know who that Spock is in this movie, he's Siler from Heroes. Yeah, that's right, the dude who goes psycho and cuts off your head and gets your powers, okay, man? I mean, seriously, he does this character very well, I gotta say. I like it. I was kind of surprised, because I mean, usually I usually see him, he's psycho, and yeah. But he's totally calm and stuff throughout this whole movie. So, good job on that. And special effects and stuff like that. Again, you know, very good CGI. Very awesome. <coughs> Let's see, what else is there that I need to say? Uh, oh, I can't really think of anything else. I'll pretty much just go with what I said before. It's a good movie for those who have seen Star Trek, those that have seen a little bit and know some stuff, and those that don't. As for my overall opinion of the movie, my ranking... I'm going to say, Mr. Scotty, Warp Factor 4. Nah. Uh, nah, no, 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 no. Warp Factor 4 is too fucking slow, man. We're going Warp Factor 5, bitches. That is it. And so we go into the final frontier. Okay, yeah, I had to make the stupid quotes and stuff like that, but seriously, man, I'm a nerd. It's what I do. I quote stuff. But anyways... That's the end of the review. Hope you enjoyed it. Go see Star Trek if you get the chance.